The year is 2016. I create this world and I end up in a spawn point with something that looks a little like this. I move along through the forest in order to create my first house. First house in all of creative Minecraft. Hello everyone, I'm Foolish Beer, and today is a tour of my very, very first world. As you can see, here's my house. It's not exactly the most pretty thing in the world, but I came up with the design myself. I'm very proud of it. And while it looks quite un... It doesn't look very house-like. It's exactly what it needs. So, in order to land on this... The only way inside this house is either through rail or landing on top of the roof like that. I made it so you could only land on it with Elytra. And I actually added quite a few interesting features to it. Like this apparatus here didn't exist when I first built the house. This didn't exist either. Back. I'll explain what these are later, but they're lights basically. But back when I first built this house, each one had a button and you just had to press all of them. Now you only need to press one. We're going to go to the first floor first. This is the main living area. As you can see, there are blackout curtains right here because this is the only place that have windows. If I want to raise them, I go upstairs and flip a lever. Let's see if I can remember which lever it is. I think it's this one. Yes, that's the correct lever. And now I can actually see outside, so yay! That's a storage system that one of my friends built when they visited the world. This is the brewing room. It's been replaced with the automatic brewery outside. I, another thing the same friends built for me. They also built this super smelter, which is one of my favorite Minecraft contrap contraptions to this very day. You put stuff in it, the furnaces would do their stuff, and let's just say uh, it was effective. It was super effective. I, I enjoyed it. And basically this is all my kitchen stuff. Anyways, I'm going to head upstairs. And yeah, this is my ender chest. Everything's in it. And let's see. Up here is a rail station, sort of improv a bit, but I built this after my original train station. I basically combined the train original train station into this. I'll show you what I mean afterwards. This is the, my guest bedroom. So you can see just a little bit of redstone running here and there. It's not exactly the most cleaned up thing in the world, but I enjoyed it. It works perfectly does everything I want it to do and this is my master bedroom as you can see I love the color red red's my favorite color I also made those banners by myself um, that's the light switch there's another one downstairs but we'll go back to that at nightfall this is an airstrip turns on these lava lights but yeah we are going to leave for the village Actually, no, we need to go outside first. I forgot how silly of me. Just ignore the railway tracks lying around. They're just... I just built all that. I built most of this stuff, actually. This is a horse pen. That's a sign. Those are portals that I constructed a long time ago, and I haven't thought about deconstructing it. Anyway, back to the original train station. This is where it used to be. It used to be a fully enclosed building but it has since been demolished and the rails were connected to the house. Speaking of rails, let's take them. It's very personal if you ask me. I built a lot of stuff in this world. I had it over for a good year before I decided I'm bored. I don't want to do this. And I've only since came back when Bedrock Edition arrived. 
Anyway, this track will transport us to the village. Out here, it's going to be much more wilderness. Well, not that much. We'll come back to th what, what that was later. But as you can see, I left a lot of this forest in its original condition, which I like about the world. I like that I did that, because if I didn't, I probably would kick myself. Not literally, but I wouldn't like it. This is the village. Bet you, bet you bedrock people haven't seen a village that looks like this, or at least not for a long, long time. <laughs> this is a train station, and this is Crazy Cat's house. You remember him from one of... Yeah, we remember Crazy Cat from a few of my other videos that I've made. I'm going to be making more videos with him in it. Get out of my way. There we go. That, that'll cut it. Anyway, we're going to head down to the farm just because, you know, I, I like farms. Get out of the tracks. You're annoying. Anyway, we're going to head along this way. Yeah, a lot of these are quite unsightly. I apologize for the zillionth time. But anyway, we have a small farm down here. You can see it, and that's where we're going. The station is actually right there. That's a different station. Our system's very, very small. We used all power rails just so you could... Enjoy the scenic view. And we're here. I have the habit of always destroying my minecarts. And here's just feed and stuff. Here are all our animals. We also have the rarest sheep in all of Minecraft, which are Jeb sheep. Okay, I'm joking. These don't actually spawn naturally. What you have to do is name a sheep Jeb underscore, like that, or like so, and that's what I did. We have our donkeys here. We have this one named Dinnerbone, the rare upside-down donkey. You name something Dinnerbone, it turns upside down. Grum also works, although I've never tried that. Let's see. I'll just get this name tag, and I will name uh, Mushroom. See? Turns upside down. Little Easter egg, I like that. Yeah, as I said, Grum also works with that. And if you name a rabbit Toast, like these rabbits here, it looks like uh, the original story behind Toast was that they were a rabbit that belonged to one of the game's developers, but they got lost or something. Not sure where they are now, but I hope they got recovered? Question mark? I'm, I know I'm really late on that, so forgive me. Anyway, we're going to go to town. This is the town called Brewington, because this empire is actually named the BBN, which was supposed to be a uh, play on my name, Foolish Beer. I'm not going to go into that, but I will say that the town is called Brewington. So the sun is setting. Oh, that isn't good, actually. I wanted to show you some systems my house could do. Nah. I'll show you after I show the army base. Which we're going to be heading to after Brewington. Crazy Cat actually built most of these railways. So a huge shout out to him for completing them. I know I'm a few years late, but uh, we can always get finished. Like I would, I wouldn't mind just finishing this world coming back to it. Let me know if you want to see this world when it's finished. Like, I actually made my home in a different world, the same one where I created a magnificent mansion that I toured. But anyway, after we're done exploring Brewington, we're gonna head back home and then take... go to sleep. And then we'll 
head back in daytime because I'm not a big fan of night. So, anyway, just before we do speed round, this is our shop. It sells different stuff like nether goods, potions. I make potions. My brother, or yeah, my brother makes nether goods. And he played here. This is separate railways. Actually, we can go straight to army base. This one goes back to my house. And Crazy Cat is the mayor of this town. His residence is right here with Patrick the dog, I believe his name is. But either way, I'll figure it out. I'm sure he's forgotten. So anyway, to the army base we go. Now the army base was inspired by a particular terrain feature. This was a mountain with a giant hole in it. So we constructed the view of the house right here. It kind of looks like a like it has wings, but uh. And we have that stupid platform that I constructed. I don't even remember why I built that, but I forgot to take it down, so... Meh. And to the army base we go. So, the base is there. We're gonna be parking in a lookout tower. Or in the middle of it. First, we're going to advance to the top of the tower, and then I will go down bottom. There are actually living quarters positioned beneath the army base, but you're not supposed to know that because it's classified. There are actually lots of secrets that only I know about this world, and I'm not going to bother to tell you. There's another rail station in this tower, but it's incomplete. It goes to. It was supposed to go to the sports arena, but uh, we, the crazy cat, yeah, crazy cat, and I got bored before it could be finished. See, it, sports arena is down that way. It does work, so we can fly there actually. Let's fly. Yeah. See, the railway just hasn't been powered yet. As soon as it's powered, we can finish it again. Anyway, I constructed a series of towers here. As you can see, I'm a Clash Royale player, so these are what these towers are based off of. It was sort of like a capture the flag sort of thing, but I can't even remember why we constructed that. I do know that it can do all sorts of other things, like I think it can play Spleef, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to modify it. I don't know. Anyway, we're approaching the lookout tower. It's going to be a difficult to stick the landing, but I think it's doable. So we're going to go up like this, glide down. And we'll stick the landing just like that. Good enough for me. Now, you may notice that this tower is so high, it almost touches the clouds. Huh, it's weird. I never I never gave this base a name. I just called it the army base. Anyway, this looks like a big flight of spiral stairs to go down to. So guess what? Bingo! And we also have these. These are fire charge launchers. Equipped every one of them with them. That's a train station that goes back to the house, but you're not supposed to know about that, so yeah. Anyway, we're going to go down here into this cavern. Okay, so this is a destination selector. I'm just going to click that go ahead so we can figure out how to go the other way. I'm going to leave that parked here because, oh wait, yeah, these are, these are the barracks for our soldiers. Our soldiers are parked right there. Or not parked, they're just stationed. Anyway, there are more barracks, potions, all sorts of stuff to help out our, our brave soldiers. Now, we're going to go back up. I made this station system myself, so... 
yeah, so. Anyway, I'm going to place the mining cart back. Get in. Hit that button again. Alright, this time, things are about to go down. Literally. Yeah, very lengthy. These are the commander's quarters. So, this one belongs to me. It's mine. That's my old... Yeah, that's actually my old, um... Outfit. My new one is the one I'm wearing right now. Crazy Cat's quarters are up here. He holds the rank of captain. He actually furnished his, so it looks a lot better than mine. So, you would think that he's the commander, but no, he... I just don't care about how my stuff looks. So, up, up, up we go. And back to the house we go before I show you its greatest feature. Now, you may think I'm crazy for not showing you yet. Uh, I forgot how to go back up. Um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. We're headed back up now. Alright. Down to the train station. Let's hope we're not too late. You're gonna consider this view to be quite ethereal. So, let's go. Skate pod. Oh, it just looks like that. Anyway, this track goes along the forest floor. So it's kind of discreet. Like, nothing in the sky or anything. So if someone took out a rail, this one is still viable. Like, unless we get really unlucky. Anyway, as you can see, we're going through the... Just through the forest. We're gonna... This is also gonna take us through a mountain. And the swamps. So... Once I'm inside my house, I'm gonna go down to the first floor and hit the lights. And you're gonna see what happens. Because you're gonna love it. Man, I constructed this so many years ago. It, like, feels like my memories are crashing back on me like an ocean wave when I visited this. It really is amazing. Like, I, I love it. I love this world. I never should have. Anyway, we're going to go back up and into the house. Now, this house has the ability to cloak itself. It does this by simply being really dark. Anyway, going downstairs. And I'm going to hit the lights. Now, while it takes a while to get it all set, these are our lights. They're lava tubes. Same feature on the runway. Lava, lava lights. It really gives the house a pretty nice glow, if you ask me. But anyway, yeah, I just thought this was nice. And we have a, this is a railway that takes us to Brewington. I showed you the end station there. Wait, what? Huh. I'm going to have to fix that. Because that did not do what I wanted it to. Anyway, we're just going to turn the lights off. Head up to the upper deck and watch that sunrise. When the sun comes up, that's going to be the end of our day here in the BBN. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed my very first Minecraft world. I'm very, very proud of it. So, just give this video a look. And I guarantee you'll like what you see. Alright, everyone. This is Foolish Beer, sign